Alrighty boyos, welcome back once again to another video. How are you guys doing? Guys, today is the day. It's literally the freaking day. Now I don't I don't hate on ninjas because I dislike ninjas. Okay, I hate on ninjas because they're bad. I want ninjas to be good. Okay, and there's only like one or two ninjas that I would really clarify as good. But now there's a third one. So we finally got ourselves a good ninja, a very good ninja. So basically I'm going to cut this video into two parts. We got some really good gameplay on the live stream last night, which was, it went amazing. Okay. We had David Dean there. We had a lot of people there. We went and raided a Twitch streamer. I think that's the first time in save the world history that somebody streaming on YouTube went and did a cross platform raid over to Twitch. It was freaking insane. We had a lot that went on yesterday and it was really fun. The, the, the stream was amazing, but whenever we finally got to Dyer and we unlocked him, it was crazy. It, it was a lot better than I thought. So I'm going to cut this video into two parts. Uh, I'm going to use the gameplay that we got on stream, which was really good. And I'm going to commentate over that. But first, we're going to take a look at Dyer. We're going to look at all of his abilities and just kind of talk about it a little bit. And then we're going to talk about Dyer a little bit over the gameplay in the background. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at Dyer and take a look at his abilities. All right, guys. So one thing that should be duly noted here is that Dyer is pretty good whenever it comes to the Dragon Slash. So he does have the Dragon Slash and then just brings forward for two tiles, dealing crap tons of edge weapon damage uh, he's got a lot of uh, buffs going into his mantis leap so uh, you know ninjas can leap uh, once more while already jumping then they reduce the energy cost by 50% and then allows them to leap even higher and increases the effectiveness of mantis leap then you have kunai storm now keep in mind that this is the first time we've seen kunai storm since blade storm enforcer he's been the only one so far that we've seen kunai storm from and because of this we use blade storm enforcer as the tactical squad bonus if you guys take a look kunai barrage increases the number of kunai thrown from the kunai storm by six and the damage by 25 percent does not stack with a non-tactical kunai barrage perk so then we head over back over to dire and we take a peep at this we go right down uh we got the shadow stance which i think is pretty much standard on just about any ninja in the game then we have night stalker this is very important a lot better than i really thought that it would be it says during evening and night gain 25 percent bonus movement speed then he's got Shroud of the Dragon. Dragon Slash now activates Shadow Stance. If you guys don't know what Shadow Stance is, I didn't really go over it, uh, but they'll enter Shadow Stance for four seconds. Uh, the damage resistance is increased, mana sleep costs less, and uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, then we also have Crescent Kick, which in my opinion is the weakest ability for Dyer. He, he doesn't even need Crescent Kick. You know, just ignore, just ignore the fact that Crescent Kick exists. The only time you're really going to use it is if a blaster is up in your face and you go, hi yeah, and then you want to like kick him, except Except for my elbow would obviously be your leg so um yeah he's got crescent kick that's pretty much worthless i really wouldn't advocate wasting your energy on that then he's got tail of the dragon dragon slash leaves a persistent trail of energy damaging for 12 percent of dragon slash damage every 0.5 seconds and slowing enemies by 30 percent caught within the tail for three seconds now that ability Tail of the Dragon is freaking godlike, okay? If you use this thing in a trap tunnel, you are only asking for a crap ton of damage. Amazing ability right there, Tail of the Dragon. Then this last ability right here seals the deal increases oh it's called midnight stalker increases the movement speed bonus of night stalker by an additional 50 percent and abilities cost 50 percent less energy during evening and during night so guys that is dire those are his abilities that's you know a little overview of him now i'm gonna go and swap over to the gameplay and i want to talk about dire and what i really think about him all right boyos welcome to the second portion of the video as you guys saw in that little uh first part you guys saw me talk about his abilities or you know if you already knew his abilities you probably skipped to the gameplay so that you can hear what i gotta say about him and blah 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 get my own opinions on it um so as you guys are seeing in the background this is from the live stream that i was uh that i did yesterday if you guys do want to watch this live um every single thumbnail on my channel if it's a bright green background that signifies that that video uh, that is archived on my channel was a live stream so we did the live stream last night you guys can skip like an hour or an hour and a half into the live stream and uh that's whenever we unlock dire uh it was pretty fun you know we had david dean come out you know we had a lot of stuff it was really fun uh so if you guys do want to watch that whole thing feel free to go and look at it on the channel there's only one advertisement so you're not gonna have to sift through a bunch of them because i don't spam ads on those videos because 
it's just a live stream um so yeah if you guys do want to watch that you can but let's go ahead and get into my thoughts and my opinion so as you guys are watching in this gameplay uh it is at the night time it is in the evening and we're on a category two mission now Normally what I talk about in uh, whenever I'm talking about ninjas is that aside from like Hera Ho or it's Hera <laughs> Sarah Hotep and like, you know, Dragon Scorch or whatever There's really no place for ninjas in the in-game content in my opinion, you know So I decided that I wanted to go and throw Dyer headfirst into a hard mission So we went for a category 2 power level 100 mission for this now as you guys can see the time that we started the objective is at evening It's at nighttime and I was communicating with the stream team, which is me, Nylik, and Chaos El Lama. Uh, that is the stream team. That's usually the in-game team that we play with uh, whenever we're on stream. But I was communicating with those guys. I was like, alright guys, we gotta make sure that we start this objective whenever it's nighttime or evening, you know, so that I can have my buffs. And as you guys can see through the gameplay, uh, because of the movement speed and because of the fact that it doesn't cost me any energy whatsoever to Mantis Jump, I am flying all over the freaking map. I'm getting to point A to point B 30 billion times faster than any soldier could in his entire life. Dyer feels like a mythic and that is the number one thing that I have to say about Dyer is that he feels like a mythic hero. He truly feels like a mythic, somebody that's fun to play, somebody that's powerful, and that is the most important thing overall. You guys know me. I don't like ninjas. I really don't because in most scenarios, ninjas are not as good as an urban assault. But in this case, as good as Dyer is, and I would still probably say he's probably not as good as an urban assault, he still takes the fun priority. This guy is so much fun to use. Whenever you get his buffs at midday and you know midnight and you know at nighttime, whatever, whenever you get those buffs for those movement speeds and for the jumps and for the energy, blah, 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 he is so outstandingly fun and so outstandingly good to use. Now, in the gameplay, you'll see me using a sword and you'll see me uh, pretty much jumping around only using that. Uh, I would pretty much recommend uh, on Dyer that you run a shotgun, uh, for instance, because you are going to be up close and personal with a lot of people and there's not really any perks that uh, help you out whenever it comes to your melee combat. The only reason I'm using a flaming Masamune is because it is the only sword that I had. People wanted to see sword gameplay because he's a ninja. He has a sword on his back and, uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to give it a try. But if I did have to give you guys, you know, the most optimal, I would probably say run a shotgun on Dire, you know, like an old Smoky and, you know, some other powerhouse weapons uh, because because you are going to be in people's faces a lot, especially during the nighttime. Whenever it's during the nighttime, you're basically going to find yourself constantly sprinting, jumping, and using abilities. And that's when Dyer is at his best and at his most fun. Now, whenever it becomes the daytime and you lose your powers, you'll know that you have your powers because if you look down at your legs, they'll be glowing blue. And that signifies that you are buffed from, you know, your nighttime and your evening buffs or whatever. So that'll basically signify that you have that. But when you run out of those powers when you can no longer jump like crazy and run all over the place and go crazy like that uh, basically the play style that I would recommend is that you sit back in a trap tunnel you know you, you chill at the base or whatever and then as soon as you see a bunch of husks lining up you hit them with a dragon slash and then you wait again and then you know you hit them with a kunai barrage for example and then you wait again uh, you don't really want to be getting up close and personal nine times out of ten whenever you don't have your buff the whole purpose of the movement speed buff is the get in get out get in get out get in get out that's all you really want to do you want to get in use all your abilities get out and then maybe shoot from a distance for a little bit get in uh, you know uh, use your abilities and then get out and whenever you're not having that buff whenever you're not able to get in and get out as effectively you really kind of want to chill around the base use a normal weapon and then you want to use your dragon slash to the most effectiveness that you can in those trap tunnels and what what sword you and what have you okay uh, it's kind of hard to commentate I know I'm I, after four years of experience it's still hard to do a commentary um but overall guys as far as Dyer is concerned he feels like a mythic he's extremely good he's viable at in-game content and the, like I said the most important part is that he's fun you know we had a complete blast on the stream yesterday my initial impressions of Dyer were very mediocre but as soon as the evening hit as soon as nighttime hit as soon as we start the objective while I have all those buffs and abilities, 
it's freaking amazing guys whenever you play this character you want to run two people you want to run lamarai in your or what's it called Ma uh, sword master or no shuriken master i think it's shuriken master you want to run shuriken master lamarai in your support slot to give you 20 percent extra ability damage after that you want to use blade storm enforcer to give your kunai barrage a buff which will make it very very good a lot better than it normally would be after you get all these buffs you are going to be in insane whenever nighttime hits it's going to be insanely fun your dragon slash is going to do crazy damage your kunai bra is going to do crazy damage you're going to be able to get in and get out without having to even get touched shadow stance is going to proc a lot from your dragon slash from your kunai and from if you're using a sword and you're near unstoppable it is so fun to play dire and i cannot stress that enough this has to be the best ninja that we've gotten in a very long time and epic i honestly gotta give you props on this ninja a lot of you guys have been accusing me of being extremely negative as of recent and that every single review that i do is extremely negative negative. and the reason i'm giving this a positive review is not because of those comments honestly i could care less about those comments you're not going to change my opinion on something but i'm giving you guys my honest opinion on dire and dire is the best ninja that we've gotten in a very long time candy corn lmg it underperforms very well calamity gets outclassed by ranger easily igor is just a subpar ninja at best this guy right here truly feels mythic he's truly extremely fun and that's the most important thing that matters as soon as it hits nighttime you're gonna have a blast playing dire so if you have not already bought him i cannot stress enough that you need to buy this character he is extremely mean out on the battlefield and especially mean playing defensive in a trap tunnel with that dragon slash ability but guys that is pretty much it for this video normally i wouldn't come out with a hero review like this uh in this style of format and whatever and kind of talk about the person extremely seriously but when this character is so good I kind of want to get my point across and let you guys know about how good he is but guys Thank you so much for watching. I greatly do appreciate it Make sure to leave a like on the video if you did like it to say if you did not follow me on Twitter, you know add me on snapchat uh, Yeah, all that cool stuff. I'm trying to think is there anything else I can say? Support me on support a creator Yeah, then that's about it. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys Oh, let me know what you think about Dyer in the comments down below and I'll see you guys next time